Everybody, welcome to the online conference, The Circulation of Images. Bienvenue à la conférence en ligne, La Circulation des Images. I am Beatrice Joyeux Prunel, a professor at the University of Geneva, and I'm glad to introduce this conference and also to introduce our team. We have thought of the conference as a meeting between image specialists of all kinds, theorists, historians, philosophers, lawyers, and also image makers, that is to say, artists. We want to discuss together on the circulation of images, what circulation does to the image and what the image does to circulation. But let me present the team. I'm originally a historian and have specialized in modern and contemporary art history. I publish on the internationalization of modern and avant-garde art in Geneva, I am in charge of a new chair for digital humanities. I founded the Artlas project in 2009 to foster a digital and special approach to the globalization of the arts of the last two centuries. I'm also interested in digital cultures, hence another project, Post Digital, which is also part of this conference. I'm glad that the European Erasmus Agency was willing to support the creation of the Imago Center a project on how images have made Europe through circulation. With this conference on the circulation of images, we are launching the Imago project. I'm Léa Saint-Raymond, currently a postdoc at the École Normale Supérieure and the co-director of the Imago project. I've been managing Artlas database for many years now, and within Artlas, I co-founded Geomap, which is a digital repository and mapping of the picture dealers in Paris from 1815 through 1955. My research focuses on the history of the art market, the change in places, and the history of private and public collection. That I received my PhD in art history from the Université Paris-Nanterre on the launch of new artistic markets at Parisian auction sales from 1830 to 1935. I also teach art history at the Université PSL and at the Université Paris 1 Panthéon Sorbonne, and also digital humanities at the ENS and at the Ecole du Louvre. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> My name is Marie-Josée Burki. I grew up in Switzerland. I've been living in Brussels for several years, and now I'm speaking to you from Brussels. I'm an artist. I teach at the Beaux-Arts in Paris. Since 2016, I'm the director of the research program, a residency program, and a PhD program at that school. We are living in a strange time that brings their shares of novelties. This is for me my second opportunity to participate in a video conference. I participated in my first online exhibition organized by a gallery at the beginning of the lockdown. Of course, as artists, we travel around the world for exhibitions, to meet curators and to work. It was quite astonishing to stay in a silent Brussels, in my studio, to see that my online video was viewed here and there around the globe. It is surprising to work with people I had never met physically, and as is it well the case for this conference, since I only knew my fellow organizers and some of the participants. Um, my name is Grégory Wachanowski. I am an artist and researcher. I was teacher at Le Frenois, UCAM uh, in Montreal, and now uh, Artlec in Paris. I co-organized uh, the post-digital seminar with Beatrice, a fruitful uh, collaboration that continues today. My artistic practice goes from drawing to the web, from ceramics to artificial intelligence, from engraving to augmented reality. So I have no medium, in fact, just words. Uh, I'm talking from Marseille with a wonderful uh, sun, uh, where I am in residence during the summer to create a new installation for the Manifesta Biennale, who began uh, at the end of August. My artistic practice began in the mid-90s uh, with net art. The web was, in fact, my first and maybe my only one medium. So I observe with interest this shift in our artistic and academic practice on the internet, 
the remote conference like this one, online online artwork, etc., etc. So all this, unlike a, a world already past, already distant, which is taking place 25 years later, it's like a gap in a story. Uh, hello and welcome. I am Catherine Dossin, Associate Professor of Art History, so the boring one, uh, in, at Purdue University in the United States, but I'm originally from France. Uh, I am mostly interested in, in historiographic question, the geopolitics of the art world, and the and cultural transfer, as well as the circulation of images and artwork that is at the core of our conference. I'm also the vice director of Artlas, and within Artlas, my main responsibility has been the Artlas Bulletin, which is a peer reviewed journal that is devoted to new methodologies and transnational questions in the arts uh, that we have been publishing since 2012. So as you can see, we are a multidisciplinary team invested in the Imago Santos project on the global circulation of images and their role in the construction of shared identities of cultural consensus and dissensus. Imago is a Jean Monnet Center of Excellence, a European label that encourages research and teaching on Europe in all in its dimension. The Imago Center operates within the framework of a partnership between the École Normale Supérieure, the Beaux-Arts de Paris, the University of Geneva, and Purdue University. But let us go back to the topic of our conference. In this very particular context of the coronavirus pandemic, Lockdown has amplified the digital circulation of images. We could not leave our homes. We could not see much more than our screens, our interiors, and our immediate surroundings. However, as if to make up for the lack of exchange and trade of people, internet users exchanged images by the thousands on digital networks. We have probably never exchanged so much images. So it is time now to study that and to see what has changed, if it has changed. The unfortunate experience of the past few months seem to suggest that exchanging images is a basic human need. This need to exchange images might be one of the reasons why images have always been circulating. It also prompts us to consider the circulation of images as a way to relate to the world. Art historians have always been interested in iconology, diffusion of style, and circulation of visual men. But now we see, within the context of global art history and cultural transfer, work being done on the gradual re that images undergo through circulation. However, Though many artists have been reflecting on the circulation of images for a long time, art history has rarely taken their artistic works as a possible counterpart. That is to say, not only art as an object of study, but also art as a coherent theoretical point of view that would, that could or should enrich art historical and theoretical approach, and that should renew its questions. Our ambition in this conference is to promote a real dialogue between artists, art historians, and theorists around the question of the circulation of images. We want to think about it for all types of images, whether it is the circulation of artifacts, the circulation of printed images, the circulation of the so-called immaterial images of the digital, or the images of our memories and our unconscious. We will ask questions about the modalities of this circulation, about its effects, about its causes, about its history. In particular, have technological breaks changed the circulation of images in any way? We have all the impression that they have. Just think of the flood of digital images on our screens since recent years. But is it only an impression? And what, uh, what has changed if it has changed something? We know that the circulation of images uh, have been transformed by industrial reproduction tools. Indeed, it offers the same logic as production by mold. 
the same model is reproduced in a very large numbers to achieve economies of scale. But today, artificial neural network, artificial intelligence, may be a completely different step. Not the reproduction of the same, but the automation of the realism itself. Software feeds off the million of images that circulate on the web and produce similar images, images that we recognize as real, but that are different from the original images. It's not only the analysis of images that is modified by statistical induction, that is to say the fact that images can be analyzed in huge corpora from their metadata to their visual and semantic content. Today, the use of neural network also impacts the way images are the object of our attention. It changes their economy and their circulation, which no longer respond to the same logic as in industrial era. Thus, by precise comparing the logics of the circulations of images before print, in the age of print, in the age of video and TV, from the internet, and since the generalization of neural networks, we want to better understand, this will be one of the objectives of our final discussions, so we want to better understand what has changed for each circulation regime. Our hypothesis is that through a new methodological relationship between art history and artistic, artistic price, practice, sorry, we will be also able to better understand what has happened and what is happening and how we can describe it with what concept and shared views. In the context of COVID-19, we have taken the risk to organize the conference in an experimental digital format fostering videos and online video conferences instead of physical talks and personal encounters. We also take the diffusion possibility of online publication as an asset. We bet that this experimental format will foster new kinds of intellectual encounters and open to further collaborations between historians and artists on the issue of images in circulation. If you are visiting us for the first time, please take a moment to look at the program of the conference, which you would find on the website of the Imago Center. The conference is organized according to four uh, themes. On June 15, we will consider the materiality of image circulation. On June 16, we will discuss the mode of existence of image in circulation. On June 17, we will devote I will be devoted to digital circulation studies and we will end on June 18 with a reflection on the visibility and invisibility of images in circulation. Each day will be closed with a collective discussion on the video of the day, a public open access discussion that you are invited to follow on Zoom or on Twitter with the thread visual contagions. We are counting on you to move this discussion forward and in particular to open up the theoretical and academical approach to the production and contemporary reflection of artists. So good videos and to June 15th for our first discussion. <laughs> 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 <laughs>